What's up guys, welcome to Bonfire Night on LSJ TV. And today, to start off today's video, we're gonna be making protein pancakes. So I've got some impact whey protein from my protein, just some regular Scottish porridge oats from uh, Tesco. We've got six eggs, we're not gonna use them all, and to top it off, we've got some Walden Farms. So to start off, I'm gonna put 50 grams in this here Ninja Cup, which I'm gonna be mixing the uh, pancake mix in. So slowly pour that in and set it to the right unit for starters. That's 40 grams, 44. You don't have to be exact, but for the purpose of this video, I'll be exact. So there is 50 grams of oats, and then we'll put in two eggs as well. And lastly for this mix, we will put in one scoop of this vanilla whey protein. You can use any, any flavor protein. But I just like using vanilla uh, because it doesn't add too much taste. You can add a chocolate. I've always wanted to try chocolate, so I might, I might buy maybe some sort of double rich chocolate from Optimum uh, Nutrition or something like that, and then we can try different flavor pancakes. And I'll be sure to vlog that for you guys. So what we're going to do now is see if this mixes well because I haven't done this for a little while. I haven't done this for a long while actually. So um, we'll see how this turns out and if we need to add another egg, if we need to add a bit more uh, oats, then we'll see how it goes. But hopefully we'll be okay. Straight away that we're going to need some more eggs. Like I said, not done it in a while. <laughs> So this mix is going to be for this mix is going to be for two people anyway, guys. So it doesn't matter that we've got loads of egg or loads of protein in there or anything like that. At the end of the day, they're supposed to be protein pancakes, and so so we're going to add more protein. Obviously, if you don't want the whole fat in it from the yolk, then you can just put the egg whites in. But for the sake of this video and the sake of it being quick, uh, I'll just put the entire egg in there. All the while uh, I'm making this mix, guys, be sure to be preheating your pan so that is getting pretty hot now. It's going to make sure the pancakes cook fairly quickly and fairly evenly. Okay, so you can see that's getting pretty liquidy now. As you can see, it rolls from one side to the other. So uh, we'll see how the consistency is and if it's a little bit too runny because I put another two eggs in there, um, then we'll put a little bit more protein in there. I think that would be okay though, but just put a little bit more in. The great thing about protein pancakes guys is if you make the mix wrong or anything like that, just track exactly what you're putting in to the, uh, to the mix. Because it's not unhealthy, the idea is that this is the healthy version of the normal pancakes. Okay, so I think that's good now. Uh, what we're going to be using to coat the pan is this uh, fry light coconut oil. There's only one calorie in every spray. So obviously if you're tracking macros, just be sure to put it into the, into the macros as a barcode that you can scan if you use my fitness part. So honestly, the pan's probably a little bit too hot. <laughs> it's going to burn the pancakes. But we'll just see how it goes. This is probably going to make three or four pancakes for us because uh, we'll only have nice small pancakes. So I'm just going to take this off the heat, just to allow the pancake to cook throughout rather than it getting burnt. There we go, nice and round, and so we'll come back to that in a minute when it's cooked a little bit. Right guys, so I think this pancake is going to be a little bit burnt because uh, honestly we had a little bit of a camera issue, we've now swapped to my new iPhone 7 Plus, so if the quality's dropped a little bit then I apologise for that, but uh, let me know what the quality's like because let me know what you guys think, because obviously part of the reason me buying this phone, is, oh it's not that bad, no. but the reason of me buying this phone was in case of emergencies like this, where uh, we have a little bit of a battery issue. Uh, and we have to switch to my phone because obviously I don't want the quality to drop for you guys, well, at all, ever. So uh, just let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, we'll be back to the G7X before you know it. So this one is cooking right here. This will be about another minute, minute and a half. 
it's probably a little bit undercooked on that side, would mm. you say? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we'll give that another minute, a couple of minutes, and then we'll get back to you then. Right, so this pancake is about done now, and if you're cool like me, then you can do a double flip. Go for a triple flip. I actually did it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Uh, right, so that one is about done, and uh, we're going to put it on a plate here. We're going to make a couple more because this this mix is going to be enough for two people. So uh, just bear that in mind. But to be honest, I could probably eat a lot all by myself anyway. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to show you what it looks like uh, with some modern farms. So here we go. This has virtually no calories in it, so I wouldn't worry too much about the macros. But yeah, there you go guys, there is uh, LSJ TV's Protein Pancakes. Throw in whatever you like, as long as you just keep track of it. I'll probably do an updated video because I'm going to start making these a little bit more now. And so, once I've perfected my recipe, I'll then do an updated video uh, and maybe like make them look a little bit more aesthetic, like Instagram pancakes, you know, the small thin ones. But anyway, uh, so we'll catch you guys later. I'm going to tuck into these pancakes and see you guys in a bit. Right, so done with the pancakes now, topped it off with a little bit of Walden Farms. I had one humongous pancake, basically two pancakes in one. Uh, I would have I would have taken a picture, but honestly I just completely forgot. And the thing I kind of wanted to touch upon, the thing I just wanted to quickly talk to you guys about in this video, is how comparing first year of university to second year of university. Now I'm currently a second year student, as you guys know, and I'm already starting to see the differences between first and second year, when I've only been here for six weeks to two months now. Now one thing I'll definitely say is that the differences are not bad. I'll get to that, the differences are definitely a good thing. They definitely help me, help other people, and just allow yourself to enjoy yourself just that little bit more at university. So one of the things I wanted to talk to you about is where you're surrounded by people in halls. If you're there, if you're living on campus, or wherever you're living, if it's close to the university, you're gonna be constantly, constantly, constantly surrounded by people. There's always gonna be people that you not always going to want to see, but there's also going to be people that you always really like and actually want to spend a lot of time with. That in second year does not happen as much. I am on a campus which is a little bit further away from where I'm living now, but everybody else is living in the city like myself, and so that means that everybody is sort of dotted around like my best friend's up here and I'm here, and like my mate's here and you know his mates are over here. Like, literally, you could be in four corners of the city, there's four main places in Nottingham that people tend to live. And I live in one of them, and my friend lives in another one, and my friend, other friend lives in another one. But it happens, like, if you really want to see those people, if you really want to spend some, some time outside of uni with those people, then you will travel, you will make that commute to go and see them. That wasn't such an issue in halls. There was two different halls, one called Peveril and one called New Hall. One was up here and one was down here, right? It's a three, four minute walk in between, that's it. Now you're expecting a 10, 15 minute walk in between you and your friends. That then becomes a challenge of, uh, of, of going to see them and seeing them more often and not seeing them as much, or, you know what I mean. But that is a good test of seeing who your real friends are. Whether those people are going to make the effort to come and see you, whether they want to make the effort to come and see you. So actually, you make all these friends in first year, but in second year, in, you in a way refine those friends to become real close friends who you develop a real bond with and actually want to spend a lot of time with and go to the effort to spend a lot of time with. So it's quite nice, really. So I've rambled on about that enough now. Let's talk about the next thing. I want to talk about work. Obviously, in first year, a lot of courses don't actually count first year, mine included. Doesn't mean you don't try. That is not what I'm saying at all. Give it your best in every aspect of life all the time. Give it 110% and that is how you achieve your goals and that is how you get the best grades, that's how you make the most gains, everything. Try your best, give 110%, 100% of the time. But what you'll hear from probably your family members, anybody who's been to university before is, oh, first year doesn't matter, it's your chance to piss around, it's your chance to do this. It is, it is your to make the most of that time because you're not gonna have as much time to go out in first, in second year, sorry, than in first year. That is just, it's just how it is guys. You're growing up, you're getting more mature, you have you have more work, and with more work comes more, more responsibility. With more responsibility becomes less free time. Unfortunately, it's just the way it is guys. You've got to make the most of everything you have. And just, in a way, I found myself to become more appreciative of that time that I have. You don't have to worry about anything. As long as you get your work done and manage to see your friends and have some sort of social life, whilst actually making sure that you get what you're paying this £9,000 for. Because remember guys, if you skip a lecture, if you skip anything, if you skip a seminar, if you skip a focus group, anything, then you've probably spent 
upwards of 50, 60, 70, sometimes in my case, 80 pounds worth of your own money, which you're gonna to have to pay back on these lectures. So what I'm trying to get across to you guys is don't take it for granted in first year, because you will have less time in second year. But at the same time, do not let that stop you from enjoying yourself. Do not let that stop you from going out and having fun with your friends, because this, that's the time where you're gonna build those big friendship groups that are then gonna to start to refine themselves. If you think about it, if you think back to school, you used to have this big group of friends at school. Most people have like select groups of friends. Those groups of friends then start to get smaller and smaller as you go from school and then you go to college. That group is again smaller. And then when you go from college to university, that group again gets smaller, but then you're at uni so it gets bigger again. And then the stage starts over and over again. It's like a vicious circle of education. It's really weird, but once you get a little bit older, you start to realize and you start to appreciate these kind of things happening. You can see it happening from your own perspective. You can see it happening to other people as well. It's, it's, quite, it's quite interesting just to sometimes sit back and analyze the situation. But um, all I was trying to say guys, is just don't expect first year to be exactly the same as second year because it's not, it is not gonna be the same as, as, as second year. And again, that is not me trying to put you off university or anything like that. Just saying you're gonna have less spare time. That's just the way it is. But I'm still having the absolute time of my life guys because I, I've just had such a good week. Like on Saturday it was Halloween, you, you saw my Halloween at university video, you saw how, how happy I was in that video. Uh, then from Saturday we had, a, we had a break on Sunday but then we went out again on Monday because that was actually Halloween, that was the 31st. And so after that, what did we do after that? Tuesday, Tuesday Charlotte's friend came over so um, she came over and stayed at our flat and we went out again. It was a Halloween sort of theme night. Wednesday I went to see Tom stay. Thursday we had a nice chilled night in. We, uh, we made some good food, we watched some films. Friday night we went to the bonfire, we went to the castle which is just next door to us. And then tonight, Bastille. Some of you guys will know the songs like Pompeii, all of those kind of things. I won't go into it too much. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to see them tonight in Nottingham. And so I wanted to put a few clips in this video of them while I'm there. So if that means then me getting getting back tonight and editing, then that might be what I have to do. But if not, then it will just be up later on the Sunday, so don't worry about that, guys. Um, so as always, I think I've rambled on a little bit too much, so I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, just gonna leave it here. I've got some washing to do, and then I've got to go get ready for Bastille. So catch you guys later. Okay, what's up guys? We are back from Bastille and it was absolutely incredible. It was one of the best nights of my life and I will never forget it. Not for a long, long time. But one thing I wanted to point out to you guys was the sheer amount of phones that were just being held up at the gig. People get too caught up in taking a Snapchat and, and taking a video so they can show their friends what this experience was like instead of actually experiencing it for themselves. Obviously I understand people wanting to record stuff. I'm a vlogger, I'm a YouTuber. I put videos out there, informational videos, helpful videos for people to look at. So of course I love recording stuff and putting stuff out there for other people to see. But the difference is, over the years I've always been interested in videography, photography, all those kind of things, social media. And so I've now seemed to have got some sort of knack where I don't have to look through the screen, I don't have to look through my phone in order to get a shot, I can just hold it up, get the frame and then look. I don't look through the phone, people seem to live their lives through a screen now. And that is not the message I'm trying to give you. I want to say, enjoy yourself and really live in the moment. Appreciate the time that you have there because you're not going to get it again. Not for a long time anyway. Bastille probably won't tour again for another two, three years. I, I might see them at a festival if I'm lucky. So what I wanted to do was just take a little clip of each song and then put my phone away and then just love it, enjoy it, embrace it. I just wanted to get that clip, make that clear because it sounds kind of hypocritical what I'm saying because obviously I'm the vlogger. I love it. I love taking videos, putting them out there for other people to see and helping other people in the process. But anyway, it was a fantastic night. It was really good. Really great night with really great people. Take a look.
So as you guys can see, it was an incredible night. I loved every minute of it, and I even got to see my friend from home in the process. So that is going to be it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know by leaving a like. I know it's been a long one, so thank you for sticking around for this long. If you have done, remember, no regrets, and I'll see you guys in the next video.